Hi, I'm Mike Krause with Sales Sense. Today I'm going to share with you some strategies, tactics, and tools to help you increase your sales. The number one question I always get from sales professionals is, how do I get my voicemails returned? Let's face it, we leave a lot of them. And I encourage you to. The number one reason that your phone call is not being returned, I'm about to share you a secret. The number one reason. No phone number. You failed to leave your phone number at the end of your message. So think about this. In our personal lives and our business lives, how many times have we reflected back on a, a voicemail? They go on and on and on and on, right? And they don't leave their phone number. How annoying is that? So on top of that, they probably don't want to hear from a sales professional. You're annoying them even more by that they did listen to your message and you didn't leave your phone number. I can guarantee they're not going to look it up. So number one, leave your phone number. Number two, leave it twice. Leave your voicemail number twice. So let's do an example. Hi, I'm Mike Krause with SalesSense. My number is 585-704-6453. The purpose of my call is, tell them the purpose, and at the end, I look forward to connecting with you soon. My number is 585-704-6453. Now, why do we do this? Well, we do it for a number of reasons. Number one, if they didn't hear your whole message, they only can go back to the beginning and grab your phone number in the beginning, and if they were at the tail end, they can just rewind and get it at the end. So be flexible and easy to work with and this will be a great strategy. Number one, leave your phone number. Number two, leave it twice. I hope this has helped you, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thanks for listening, and good luck on your next sales call, and please register for our newsletter at salessensesolutions.com.